Hey guys, it's Basil Jane. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you a video. I've been putting together this video for a little bit for you on how to like make really good healthy smoothies, like how to make the best healthy smoothies and make them taste really good, make the texture really good, just make it a really good, filling, nutritious, delicious breakfast or a snack or you know whenever you want to eat a smoothie is fine or we'll drink a smoothie then i'm going to show you some healthy some new healthy smoothie recipes um sort of using the tips that i'm going to show you that's about it let's just get started okay so i'm going to give you a few tips on how to make a bomb smoothie to sweeten a smoothie naturally so in a healthier way I really prefer to use fruit, it's really the best way to sweeten a smoothie. Bananas are pretty perfect for sweetening a smoothie as they are very sweet. But some people don't like banana in a smoothie and then I find that dates are the best alternative. The squishy medjool dates are the best. Pineapple and mango are other great choices if you don't want to use banana or dates. I love using mango in a smoothie, it's really good. And then there's berries, of course. Usually the most affordable way to use berries is to use frozen berries in smoothies. There's also obviously sweet like maple syrup or honey well these are still technically sugars or syrups whatever they do still contain nutrients unlike processed white sugars making a smoothie creamier actually helps to make the entire texture of the smoothie better and more delicious there's quite a few things that you can use to do this banana and avocado are amazing for adding creaminess to a smoothie these are probably the things that I use the most often to make a smoothie creamier then yogurt and milk are obviously great popular choices. I prefer to use plain and unsweetened ones to make them a little bit healthier. I use dairy-free options like almond milk and coconut yogurt, but regular dairy yogurt is also good if you eat dairy. A small amount of coconut oil can also make a smoothie creamier. I suggest only using a really small amount as it's quite rich, like a teaspoon and I like to balance it out with enough fruit and carbs in the smoothie when I use it. Then nut butters, they also help to make it creamy too. Peanut butter, almond butter, they are my favorites. A tablespoon or two is perfect. Okay, there's nothing worse than a smoothie that is not filling. So there's some ingredients that you can add to help with that. Adding some healthy fats like avocado or coconut oil can help to slow down your digestion, which will help to keep you fuller for longer. Nut butters, again, they add healthy fats, so they're perfect too. Yogurt, uh, like coconut yogurt or full cream dairy yogurt, they add healthy fats and they will help to keep you fuller for longer. Then there's also whole carbs like banana and oats. I like to add two tablespoons of dry rolled oats to make my smoothie more filling. Adding some seeds like chia seeds or flax seeds, they contain protein, good fats and fiber. To get the most from these tiny little seeds, it's best to grind them up in your blender first before adding any other ingredients or soak them for about two minutes in a little bit of water. I mix two teaspoons of chia seeds with two or three tablespoons of water and just let it soak just for two minutes while I prep the rest of the smoothie. It's really quick. The first smoothie I'm going to show you is my oh so creamy cinnamon yogurt oat and nut smoothie. You can use any blender, I'm using my Nutribullet, I'm using about 3 quarters of a cup of plain yogurt with 2-3 to three medjool dates, 2 is enough for me but you can use 3 if you like it even sweeter, 2 tablespoons of dry rolled oats, about quarter to half a teaspoon of cinnamon and 1 tablespoon of almond butter, you can use any nut butter though. I add about 1 eighth to a quarter cup water with some ice cubes, blend it up, add it to a glass, really simple and subtle, it's got such a subtle but delicious and refreshing flavor, roughly 370 calories in case you wanted to know. There's some ingredients that you can actually easily sneak into your smoothies to add a lot of extra nutrients. The key is to use the right amount and not go overboard and use too much. <laughs> so, and you only want to choose one or maybe just a few at a time so that you don't end up with this like crazy smoothie. Baby spinach is a really popular one to add to smoothies because a small handful or two won't change the taste or texture too much. Cucumber is actually another really great one. I prefer to use fully peeled cucumber. I showed you guys a smoothie I love making using beetroot recently. I'll link it below. The key is to use fully steamed and peeled beetroot as beets become sweeter when they're cooked. They also make a very pretty pink smoothie. Just use one or two baby beets. Maca powder is something that's become really popular. It's really good for you. This powder is called a superfood because it's very nutrient rich. It's actually really good for balancing out your hormones. So here's some of my favorite ingredients that I like to 
add to my smoothies for more flavor. Cinnamon and vanilla make the flavors of a smoothie just pop and you don't need a lot of it, even a little sprinkle will do. A teaspoon of instant freeze-dried coffee or something like that is my favorite to add to a smoothie with dates and yogurt. And then there's cocoa powder. The best way to get your chocolate fix is cocoa in a smoothie. <laughs> This is the kind of smoothie you'll try and you won't even know it's healthy. <laughs> My favorite chocolate superfood smoothie. About three quarters of a cup of plain yogurt again with two fresh medjool dates, one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder, one teaspoon of maca powder. This is optional. If you don't have it, don't stress about it. You can leave it out. About a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of pre-soaked chia seeds again, and two tablespoons of dry rolled oats. Then you can also do a teaspoon of honey or real maple syrup if you need it. By the way, all of the ingredients in the smoothie are known as superfoods. A superfood is simply a food that's very rich in nutrients and about a quarter cup of water and ice cubes blended up and your chocolate superfood smoothie is ready for about 360 calories roughly. It's very important to get enough protein in your diet and most people forget to add it to smoothies. So here's some ingredients that you can add for some extra protein at breakfast. Chia seeds, as we've spoken about already, high in protein. Nut butters like peanut or almond butter. Greek yogurt is very high in protein. It contains more protein than regular plain yogurt. Dairy or soy milk contain protein. And then half to one scoop of protein powder, vegan or dairy whey. This is a classic with a twist sort of a smoothie, my grapefruit, strawberry, and banana smoothie. To my blender, I'm adding about three quarters of a cup of plain yogurt again. You can use plain dairy or coconut yogurt or any other plain yogurt you prefer. I use the fruit from about half a small grapefruit, peel removed. If you don't like grapefruit though, you can also sub that out and use fresh orange pieces instead. Half a cup of strawberry pieces or about one cup of whole strawberries. I usually use frozen. And then I'm using two teaspoons of soaked chia seeds for that extra protein, the fiber, the healthy fats, you know. One medium banana for creaminess, sweetness, good carbs, and about a quarter cup of water to blend. Ice cubes, blend it up. And that's a pretty pink grapefruit, strawberry, and banana smoothie full of nutrients and about 350 calories roughly. And the last one I'm gonna show you today is my simple berry banana smoothie with super sneaky greens added. This is a very simple and easy smoothie. About one cup of frozen mixed berries, one medium banana, about three quarters to half a cup, blah, no, about a third to half of an avocado, a handful of fresh baby spinach, a tablespoon of almond butter, a little pinch of cinnamon, and about half a cup or so of almond milk. You can use any milk that you prefer. Some ice cubes blended up, and you can use a tablespoon of honey or maple syrup if you need it to. And that's a very simple everyday kind of a smoothie with some sneaky greens in there for about roughly 380 calories in total. So that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed this smoothie video, how to make delicious healthy smoothies. I will also link my other smoothie videos that I've done on this channel below. I've done smoothies and a lot of videos, but I've got two specific smoothie recipe videos. So I will link those below for you guys. And that's about it. I will see you guys again very soon. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell. Do all those things. And I'll see you guys again very soon.